It's breaking news once again here on Martin Lucas Investor. Every morning at this time, I like to go through the, the snacks, digestible financial news provided by Sherwood, part of the Robin Hood organization. Breaking news on the financial sector. And uh, this is recorded during a live video. If you watch the actual video later, it will have uh, full animation and uh, overlays and extra information added. But now we're in the live show. Let's get straight to it. So, snacks, digestible financial news this morning. And uh, here we go. The Dow Jones last night um, uh, closed down 0.45. The S&P was up 0.82. The Nasdaq up 2.26. And Bitcoin was up 0.0. Hey, snackers, as fall approaches, Starbucks pumpkin spice power grows. Uh, Starbs uh, started selling its PSL lineup last week, including a new pumpkin chai latte, sounds very nice, and a pumpkin martini, oh my gosh, and uh, at its reserve locations. It's the PSL's 20th birthday. Happy birthday to you. 600 million of the seasonal brews have been sold since 2003. Stocks were mixed last week with the NVIDIA's blowout earnings boosted the, tech, the techie Nasdaq. On Friday, stocks rose after Fed Chair um, Powell's speech at Jackson Hole. We covered that. If you want the information, look below and you can find it. Or I'll click above my head and I'll leave you the link to Jackson Hole and you can hear the whole thing. The central banker said further rate hikes are still on the table, but noted that inflation trends have been positive. I don't think it's going to be a rate hike. I think a pause if you read between the lines. Eventful hospitality companies expand offerings as eventcations become a hot travel trend. One week on a white sand beach snooze fest. Americans aren't just get settling for OG vacations these days. Uh, in this year's travel boom, they're prioritizing eventcations, vacations centered on a major event. Like, of course, you can have a vacation or watching the Martin Lucas Investor Show. What better entertainment can you get? What better holiday could you get? In fact, the other day, um, we had um, Stephen Lewandowski do just that. He went on holiday, and the first thing he did was, in the hotel room, put us on the TV. What What can I say? Anyway, vacation centered around a major event, whether it's road trip to a Taylor Swift show in Denver or getting to Boston for a WWE brawl, folks are shelling out big bucks for action-packed getaways. MGM Resorts International said that Formula One's first ever stop in Las Vegas is just as much a tourist attraction as its slot machines. WWE last week sold 90,000 plus tickets in one day for next year's WrestleMania in Philly, pile driving a record before even announcing a single match for the April event. Live Nation, I used to have a lot of my shows one night in Vegas on Live Nation, by the way, said it's on pace for a record year as concert demand soars. Swift's uh, uh, recent LA show alone boosted the city's GDP by 320 million. I didn't make quite that much. Uh, Beyonce's re uh, Renaissance tour raised Sweden's inflation. Traveling uh, uh, Bay fans equals skyrocketing Stockholm hotel prices. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Hilton said that this year it's already seen double as many loyalty points redeemed for experiences that last that that last year's record than last year's record. GOT tour in Dubrovnik. I've been to Dubrovnik. That's where they filmed the um, the Game of Thrones. And if you go to Dubrovnik and all you look at all the roofs, uh, you will see 99% uh, of the roofs have bright red tiles, whereas only a few have very dark tiles. Do you know why that is? During the uh, the Yugoslavian War, uh, when uh, when Croatia and, and Yugoslavia split split up, it was bombed, and uh, every house, uh, nearly every roof, was damaged in uh, in Dubrovnik. So now everyone has a bright red, brand new roof, and you can just spot the few that didn't get hit. It's quite uh, daunting when you look at it. Uh, a tour in Dubrovnik, tourist spending on experience like amusement parks and nightclubs was up 65% in March from 2019. Travel companies are increasingly catering to experience hungry consumers. MGM CEO said that while gambling revenues were relatively flat during uh, dining experiences in shows like Circus Ule, uh, I actually met the director of Circus Ule who wanted to book one of my shows to perform in Vegas. More information about that.
uh, a driving growth. Uh, Airbnb has expanded ex its experiences offering Picture Pasta Masterclass in Puglia and recently said experiences get better reviews than rentals. Hyatt rolled out an experience program featuring outings like f foraging for truffles in Hungarian forests. I can tell you now, I've never done that, but I have been to Hungary. It's a beautiful country. Marriott has also doubled down on its experience, offering to drive loyalty, and, Amer uh, and American Airlines started letting loyalty members rack up points on event purchases. The takeaway from all this, time is even more priceless. Indeed, it is. Did you, did you notice that the years get faster every year? and it's always Christmas? Indeed. You don't notice that when you're a kid, do you? It's never Christmas. After being locked down during the pandemic, consumers started revenge traveling. Now that employers are calling workers back to desk, travelers are making the most of their precious uh, free time by centering their vacations on big experiences. Companies catering to that could, uh, could, to, to that could benefit. All right. How 775,000 everyday people are beating billionaires at their own game. When incredibly rare and valuable assets come up for sale, it's typically the 1% of the wealthiest people that end up taking home an amazing investment, but not always. How, how many of you here have bought the, uh, bought, the, bought and sold the Mona Lisa? I've done it several times, just, just saying. One platform is taking on the billionaires at their own game, buying up and, uh, and securitizing some of the history's most prized blue chip artworks for its investors. So instead of hanging on the walls of a $500 million yacht, these, <laughs> these world-class assets are collectively owned by tens of thousands of everyday investors. I like it. It's called Masterworks. Their nearly one, one uh, a billion co uh, collection in includes works by greats like Banksy, Picasso, and Basque. You know the this uh, you know the uh, the same artists in their collections. Then when Mas Masterworks sells a painting like the fifteen, it's already sold. Investors reap their portion of the net profits. Fantastic. Very easy to get started if you want to go and check out that link on Robin Hood. All right, okay. Coming up this week, Labor Day weekend. It's just like barbecues and not wearing white. It's Labor Day. The US labor market remains strong with unemployment near historic lows, but hiring and job openings recently fell to a two-year low. Meanwhile, workers are winning hot strike summer. 340,000 Teamsters um, <clears throat> ratified a contract with the UPS that gives full-timers a 15,000 raise over five years. While well, 97% of the 140K member United Auto Workers Union voted to authorize a strike against GM, Ford and Stellantis. Over in Hollywood, negotiations between studios and talent continue. 404 demand not found. When budgets get tight, electronics are one of the first purchases to get cut. You can't eat a PC. I don't know. Have you ever tried one? Apple recently reported, uh, uh, certainly can eat your iPhone. Tastes great. Tastes just like an apple. Recently reported uh, falling Q2, <laughs> sorry about the bad jokes, uh, sales and pricey Mac stayed on the shelves. Meanwhile, Best Buy missed sales estimates in Q1 and is expected to report slumping sales this week. HP and Dell are, uh, are forecast to post PC declines this week too. A turnaround could be near. Best Buy CEO said this year uh, it will be the bottom for the decline in tech demand and PC sellers Acker and Acer saw a sales lift last month. You know when the next lift's going to be? When we start being able to buy quantum computers. How about that? Make all our computers worth zero. Uh, let's take a zoom out now. Stories we're watching. A tornado hits crypto town. Oh, the DOJ charged two developers of sanctioned crypto mixer Tornado Cash, alleged they helped facil facilitate one billion in money laundering, uh, benefit benefiting North Korean hackers. Crypto experts say the case poses a vexing question: Can publishing software be criminalized? TC is a privately focused smart contract and develop developers can't always control what people do with their code once it's released. For your information, 
The government said the two knew they were helping fraudsters. Now crypto's on edge as smart contract makers consider legal risk. New school year, same backpack, back to school. Spending is expected to hit a record $41.5 billion this year as prices rise. Now parents are going bargain hunting. 70% of shoppers looked to Amazon's prime cuts for deals. Walmart and Target have been offering deals on school supplies for months. And Crayola said discounts helped drive sales with U.S. Uh, household debt at a record high 43% of school shoppers are financing their purchases. Oh my gosh, never want to be doing that. Last week's highlights, RTO, Meta and Goldman doubled down on return to office pushes with Meta saying uh, holdouts could lose their job. As some companies stick with remote, the RTA, RTO uh, WFH divide has split entire industries. The 10-year Treasury yield uh, rose last week to its highest level in 16 years as investors fear the Fed may keep raising, raising rates higher for longer. People are selling off bonds expecting higher future rates. The C, uh, a CA right to repair bill got a big boost from Apple. We covered it in the last uh, uh, Digestible Snacks. If you want to go and check that out, click above my head and you'll find the other Digestible Snacks. We do this every day. 84% uh, of Americans support the right to repair and legalization has been introduced in 30 states this year alone. What else are we snacking? Undecided West Virginia University students protested after the school cut 9% of majors to fill a 45 million budget gap. WVU enrollment has fallen 10% since 2015, with total U.S. college enrollment dropping 8% from 2019 to 2022. AI spy. Regulators are and banks are scrambling to keep up with high-tech fraud, turbocharged by AI tools like voice cloning. Consumers lost $8.8 billion to scams in the, in the U.S. last year up at 44% from the year before. Stalled driverless cars for Waymo and uh, Waymo and Cruz are freely ferrying passengers around San Francisco, but it's uh, a bumpy ride. Now officials include the fire chief are demanding fixes. All right, there we go. And what about our, our snack of the day? There's got to be a snack of the day, right? International Hotel bookings for Labor Day weekend are up 82% from last year. There you go. Thank you very much for, for joining me for my digestible snacks. We bring this, we bring this to you uh, every day. And uh, if you'd like to hear more news or you'd like to know more about it, then please do join us. We're live every day. If you click above my head, I will give you the link to the full playlist right there of all the digestible snacks. And if you click over here, you'll find all the others in the series and other videos that you might find uh, useful. Join us tomorrow live on the show. As always, take care of yourselves, your money, your crypto. Most importantly, take care of each.